Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels. Today I'm going to be talking about fly drive holidays. So let's jump right into it. Now, you uh, can book fly drive holidays over the internet, over the telephone, and you can also book them at the travel agents. Um, Basically, what it is, is where you fly to a destination and obviously stay in a night in accommodation of your choice and obviously the car is included as well as um, a package deal. So, um, again, uh, fly, uh, fly drive holidays, again, you can get them to go to say America, Australia, um, Canada, New Zealand. Um, again, lots of places you can go to to do a fly drive holiday if you wish. Um, again, there are a, ra a range of accommodations like hotels, room only, bed and breakfasts, um, self catering apartments or studios to ch choose from, villas um, and uh, basically you can hire a car at the sa at same time and drive. Um, to different places around the area if you wish um, so yes um, we did that um, we stayed in a we flew to from East Midlands to Orlando Airport um, when we went to America then we stayed in a motel and then we drove to different parts um, of Florida um, and visited different places which was absolutely amazing and fantastic um, and again you really get to, to see the country also um, but um, again um, you to drive in other countries you would have have to have um, a UK driving license also you would have had to been passed a number of years um, before you can drive in Europe or drive in another country um, but again if you are able to do that that is um, absolutely fantastic um, and um, again the cars um, in America um, are amazing as well um, again you can get really good value for money um, as well but I mean there's lots of other countries that you can fly drive at uh, two um, if you uh, want to um, again um, the biggest benefit of a fly a fly holiday is you can basically go when you want and basically come back when you wish uh, as well um, on your days out um, and again it really is up to you what you want to do um, on your day out and when you want to come back and so yes I mean a lot of the parks especially in Orlando um, we were co uh, coming back um, at at 12 one o'clock in the morning or between 11 and from what I can remember and um, one o'clock in the morning um, because of all the parades and there's just so much to do it's just unbelievable but um, again 
it's um that uh, they are holidays again um that um it depends it depends really where you go at going if you're going long haul then you really need to go for at least two three or even four weeks um to a place um but um again it's um again really is um up to you um really whether you choose to take a fly drive holiday um again uh, you can get some brilliant packages out there um so, so it's just about um looking um on in the brochures on websites different uh, travel websites like um uh, thompson we uh, websites um so and different tour operators websites re it really um to basically get the best deal for you um you could book it all separately if you wanted to like the flight separately your accommodation separate separately and your car hire separately um if you wish but um that's up to you um but um it would probably be cheaper if you did it as a package deal than to do it all separately um again yeah on um a fly drive holiday especially if you're going long haul you could ha um have an airport stopover um and a lounge um to go to it uh, to travel to the airport um on your way there or going and on your way back that's if you want to um again you can get airport hotels um that are near to different airports um, across the uk and um in the world as well um if you wanted to st stay overnight before you go back at an airport in a pacific country then you can do that as well um, again um, if you just arrange it beforehand um, with again the travel agent or you could do it online if you wish um, and well to be fair you can do it all separately if you wish um, but um, again it's up to you um, if anything, most people uh, do like uh, travelling to, if they're going on a, hot, a long haul, travelling down there, staying overnight in the UK, go for the long haul flight and then go to the accommodation nearby. Um, another way um, of doing it, if you have um, a fa any family that live near a Pacific airport then obviously if it's all right with them then you could stay overnight at their place um, obviously if it's okay um, before you fly out that is another way of doing it as well um, so yes um, you could also probably save money if you have family in that Pacific country and you and they are obviously willing 
to put you up and you can save money that way because then all you would have to do is pay for your flight over there and obviously car hire um, but again it's really up to you what uh, what you want to do um on if you are going to take a fly drive holiday um so i mean you will have to be aware obviously because you're driving um say traffic signal signs and everything and i know that it can be nervous driving that uh, you can be nervous especially if you haven't drove in another country and um, that drives especially that drives on the opposite side of the road to the uk i know that can be nerve wrap, uh, racking and probably not for everybody and um, really depends how much you like driving um but anyway there's um you can always get a map from like uh, your accommodation or um let's say for instance um tourist information center so um, um it shouldn't be a, pro a problem failing that then you can always ask people and um, to tell you where a place is um, if you're stuck um, so yes obviously if you go to a larger UK airport um, then obviously you might have a choice of what flight you would like to take um, obviously the flights um, are cheaper if it's a package deal if you're going on a package deal then if you're you're booking your flight separately everything separately and um, if you're on a chartered flight then it's cheaper than a scheduled flight um, obviously scheduled flights uh, take off on time and land on time but charter flights are not guaranteed to do, uh, do that you could again be delayed so um, so yes you would have to be prepared for that um, again it, if you are delayed then it is just one of those things but um, again, um, on scheduled flights, you can get upgrades um, if you wish, such as business and first class. Um, if you don't want to slug it out in a con a common a co economy, um, so I mean, it's up to you whether you have the money whether your budget allows for it obviously it's a um you should find it great um if it does allow your budget for it but obviously if it doesn't allow it uh, for it then then obviously you will have to go in economy um again a cheap again would be a charter flight um, but it really dep it depends really um, so, so I mean it's up to you what you want to do um, but I we when we went on a fly drive trip to america we had it had an all-inclusive package with um um our accommodation 
um, flight and um, car hire and also the trips that we wanted to go on all included in the price so yes um, again um, you can get some amazing uh, deals and amazing and amazing and see some amazing places um, again you just um, obviously have to work to your bu budget obviously as well and basically make the most of it while you're there so thank you for watching please like subscribe and share and i'll see you in my next trip a travel video which is going to be tomorrow and that's going to be two centered holidays so if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe thank you bye for now and i'll see you tomorrow thank you bye